What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another video. We are starting the day off at, well, we are Walmart. We are sneaking in the back door. It's the best place to be is uh, at Walmart's the back door. We are going through here because this is directly to where we're trying to go, which is the pew aisle. We uh, we made a video a little while back. Uh, we were, I think we were harvesting the quail, and we found massive kager bullfrogs. And we were asking you guys, we're like, should we kill them now, or should we save them for Thanksgiving? And everyone was like, Flair, go get them right now, because they're not going to be there around Thanksgiving. So, we are here to Walmart to find something stealthy, a stealthy weapon to sneak up on them, pop them, and then harvest them. Banjo's not here right now, but he will meet us there, back at the house. So, Jake and I, we are here to find a weapon, a silenced weapon. Yeah, See, that the thing is, we have to, like, we might have to get, might have to pick him up in the skill. Oh, the skill loader's not there. What's, what, what, mini excavator. You could pick him up there. I need to get elevated and then, like either slingshot, bow and arrow, something quiet because we saw like four or five. If we take the old 22, like the normal strat, we shoot once, boom, frog goes flying there, lands, all the other frogs disappear. We need to find something stealthy. Blow dart gun is an option as well. The problem is you have to be so close. So we have a few of those options at the house, but we figured let's go to Walmart. Let's see what they have in the pew aisle. Maybe they have some type of weapon of choice that we think we could silently and effectively harvest four to five massive bullfrogs in the backyard and uh, into a catch can cook because you guys were telling us just do it. Do it now. And Banjo's in pain. As well, uh, we wanted to maybe we, we might if we have a whole bunch, we might save a couple for Thanksgiving meal if we want to do like a, a big wild game cook off. But yeah, I, I was a little nervous. I'm like, they may go under like hibernation. I don't know what frogs do in the winter, I guess, but they may not be around. Basically, the frogs are here now, so we are gonna go inside Walmart, find something to effective, effectively harvest these frogs, and get to catch clean cooking. So stay tuned. Oh yeah, baby, the old arrows. We are in the right department now. Oh, Muzzy, what do you think of the think that, the, that might be a little loud. I think don't the know. old Muzzy has said. What if we get what if we get one of these? Is that thing what pounds do you think that is? Four? Twenty two pound? Hey, that ain't bad. That's actually better than I thought it'd be. Think, you think that think that'd do it? What do, what do, you, think, what do you think? Draw? What's your so, draw? I don't know. Oh, whoa! There there's no not a single pew. Oh, what are these? Oh, these are pelicans? Wait, why don't they have actual pews? I guess it doesn't matter because we don't want to be Yeah, no, there's zero. Like, the, the whole cabinet's empty. We might be what about the old, think the old Red Riders got it? Oh, the old BB? I think I tried that one time and it just ricocheted off their head. No, I think I hit a couple, but that, I was gonna say, that says silence, what's that say? Silence air, air gun silencing system. That's a 22 caliber too. Yeah. I mean, that's that's a lot. That's, so it's basically a 22, but way quieter. It's a 22 caliber gas piston air rifle. They, I said, we could we get the old glass ammo slingshot. That actually, I, it's maybe a good thing that they don't well, have they any have pews. The, what do they got there? Was that for that? So that it's really gas powered, like straight it's up CO2? Gas piston air rifle. I've lost it. It's a brake barrel. I've never had that, dude. I've had so many pellet guns. So this one, like this one is a brake barrel, the Airhawk Elite, and that but that shoots a 177, so it's gonna have a faster FPS, but it's not gonna have as much knockdown power. With a bullfrog, I feel like a 22 would be helpful, just because they are sometimes tough to tough to to harvest. Is it really gas powered? I've never. How are we doing? What, what do you have to oh. say? What, how are you? What do you have to say about that guy? The, you think he would kill a bullfrog or no? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. Can I get it? Yeah. yeah. Get somebody over here. Okay. All right, all right. I appreciate it. You need a bigger boat if you're gonna get in the silo. I need a what bigger boat? Yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah. I know you. Do you have any big boats here? Probably not. Yeah. Red. Oh, all right. Bro. I appreciate it. No, I'll get somebody over here. Okay. Nice, Joe. Hey, this one he, he, He's the guy. Who, uh, he gave me the. the he, he's the one who told me to come through the back door. Oh really? He's like because he, he saw us get kicked. He's like going the back. Yeah. I thought he was gonna punch in the face. Dude, I thought I was getting clocked. I was getting. Mad, but he's just they, they walk around the alley. They see the camera. Bah! No, nah, he's chill. It's my boy. Right. No windows. Bullfrogs. Bullfrogs. No, cats. no cats. Well, I, up, 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 up. All right. no cats. No cat. All right, all right. No, no cats. Can't have eight, that. Who would like to have some target practice? That's why I was saying. You have eight cats. Mama had babies. Oh. You need us to thin the herd. Or what? Yes. Th thin them out. Yeah. Yes. Sheesh. All right. Oh, yeah. That bottom guy. Am I? Do you want me to grab it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, Here okay. you go. I didn't. I didn't want to like. You know. I didn't want an alarm to go off or something. Gotta get those pellets. And then too. I was gonna say I need some. I might slide the other side. So what kind of pellets do you need to use? The 22s up there. These yep. ones? Yep. Okay. And then those spinning targets might be kind of cool. These? Yep. <gasps> they are hoot. Are they cool? They're a hoot. Really? All right. Fine. Perfect. Awesome. Got the bullfrog harvesting materials now. We're ready. But if anybody would like any cats, please you come to Walmart and see Shelly. <laughs> Shelly's got the cat plug <laughs> hookup. Shoo! All right. We are uh, here to find some, we got a new idea. It's Jake's idea. We're sitting we're like, how could we do this different? Because we already have the recipe down. You guys already know the drill. Okay, hot sauce and seasoned flour, whatever. But 
Now we can, we're thinking of maybe, maybe mixing it up a little bit and adding some, some barbecue sauce, like some straight up Buffalo Wild Wings barbecue sauce. They've got some right here, a couple different flavors. They've got some Nashville hot, medium Asian zing. Honey, honey barbecue is just a classic, I feel like. Or we could do hot wings. Garlic or parm. parm. I was gonna say, dude, some of these are good. These are like all the best flavors. I usually go honey, I'm a honey barbecue guy. I do Asian zing and I do, uh, they have like Caribbean jerk. Usually like the three I rock. But parm garlic is good. Medium's good, spicy garlic's good. Triple pack right there. Real Asian zing, those are some of the best flavors. Now uh, I like that idea of like, Barbecue and then, and then like, in like a normal wing sauce, yeah, yeah, like straight yeah. up. See, okay. Because they taste like chicken. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Med medium's pretty solid. Like. Yeah, medium. That way you're not just dying out here. So okay. So we're gonna do we're gonna do Buffalo Wild Wing style frog legs, and I think we pretty much have everything else back at the house as far as the breading and the batter. We've got the cornstarch, the seasoned flour. We'll use the duck seasoning for that. Get them fried up and then toss them in the sauce. Gently toss them because otherwise they'll freaking explode. And we should be good. So not only do we have a CO2 air powered rifle that I've never heard of or used in my entire life that we now have to sight in, but we are going to be doing something we've never done before on Frog Legs, which is pretty hard to do considering we've made this like 200 times. We're going to make Buffalo Wild Wings out of Frog Legs. Stay tuned. You know there's frog legs and show up or what? Yo, hungry. Band is excited. Well, we're here. We gotta sight this sucker in though. Um, uh, we, we were, we're idiots, dude. We're... Oh man, this must be CO2 power. I've never seen this before. We should get this one. This looks cool. It doesn't look like a brake barrel. Yeah, no, it's a brake barrel. Yeah. Uh, if anyone needs 15 CO2 cartridges, I have them because they don't fit this weapon because weapons like this don't use that. Even though in our gas piston, <laughs> That's the piston, I'm assuming. Yeah, it doesn't say CO2 on the box. You guys can't read. No, I looked. I just assumed. Hey, we asked them, too. They said, oh, yeah, this guy, CO2. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, in, in our defense, Daryl did say that. Yeah. You guys went to Walmart. Hey. What you, what you <laughs> Daryl Darryl? thought this was. Daryl, if you're watching, it's not CO2. It, it, it's not, it, listen, it'll do what it needs to do. It doesn't matter. We didn't buy it because... Well, no, I bought it because it was CO2, but we would have bought an air rifle anyways. I just thought it'd be cool because it'd be like... Now it's... Yeah, I guess it's not having a magazine. It would make sense. Yeah, no magazine probably would make sense that it's the old single shot. So I've now I've got like nine of these. But this one's cool. It's the only wood one I have. It's like big. And it feels, it just, it's meaty. Wow. Actually, it's the only 22 yeah. I have too. Yeah. yeah. I think one one of mine might be a hybrid. I've had it since I was a kid. It's in the, it's in the pew room. I'm pretty sure it's a hybrid. You can gotcha. shoot both. I think, I think. I, I definitely shot 22s when I was a kid, like 22. So if you guys don't know, where are the bolts? Oh, there it is. Yeah, open that sucker up. Let me, I'll show them. I wish I had the old 170 or 177s, but these are pretty good size in compare. I mean, Kegers. Yeah. that should do what you need to do. So that's the other reason why we got it. This was the only 22. So we didn't buy the, it's not like I, I don't regret life necessarily because we bought this it is what it is so this, again you need some co2 it's here for you you can come uh, drop a comment i'll mail it to you but uh anyways this is the pew it's right here and then the target we mail it you can't hunt bullfrogs the target i'll show you what we got going here we're gonna get her sighted in and dialed and then we'll go down wow we'll go down we'll take care of the animals and then hopefully them bullfrogs are getting all horned up but this guy it's the old turkey target splatter so it should show marks so we'll, i'll put the crosshairs on that guy right there look what are you doing Hi, buddy. We'll get her precision dialed because basically with bullfrogs, it's headshots only. It's the only thing that's going to take down these big old kegger daddies. So, anyways, we'll see what happens. In we go. Okay, she's on safe. Really? Is this, is this like a distraction? Yeah. Quiet on the set. Hey, quiet on set. Alright. Fire in the hole. Oh! Huh? Oh, so you're dialed? This thing's already freaking dialed. Let's go check, take a look at that. That's exactly where I was aiming. No way this thing just comes out of the yeah, box, box strap. Daryl definitely sighted in for oh, me, yeah. yeah. Look at this. That was right where I was aiming. Dang. Daryl yeah, definitely shot. hooked it up. All right, let's. Get, we gotta get three. Three in the red means the bullfrogs are dead. So, in, in case you're curious, since it's not CO2, this is how you have to do it. Give her the ult. Give her the ult. Basically equivalent to one of those freaking muskets from back in the day. Ooh. A little to the left. A little there. left. I was shaking. Wow. I just, are you got, shaking? I just got gassed out. What'd you say? How are you shaking? It's nervous, dude. It sticks. What are you nervous about? <laughs> yeah. I'm nervous. Bullfrog's getting you fired up or what? They're, they're going to be big, dude. I'm just, just scared. Bad high. I mean, it's like a one inch grouping. It's not terrible. Hey. Is that in the same hole? Yeah. Same red hole? Yep. Really? The thing's not terribly loud, though. Not bad. I don't think it'd spook them all out of there. No. Probably not. 
I feel like I'm hitting the same spot. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm obliterating the red hole. The last two hit there. If anything, it's maybe a touch high, but I think- Put it on their chin. Put it on their chin. Squeeze. I mean, that's, that's dude, out the box. Daryl did it. He did it, yeah. I think she Shelly might've scoped it in for the cats and then we we took the, the pew from her. But anyways, this is a, that's a dead bullfrog. I've ever seen one. So we're gonna take this down to the animals. Like I said, we're gonna get them fed, give you guys an update on everything, see if everything's alive and well. Fingers crossed, Big Daddy Keg or Kitty Cat meow are still out there. And it's harvest time, baby. Stay tuned. Shoo! All right, we made it, folks. Here we are at the animals. Well, we got a slight problem. Carol has, well, we don't know. What, Carol's, I mean, she's doing okay. She's, Carol, come here, Carol. Ralph was beaten up on earlier, Nate was telling me, and so he separated them. So I don't know. We might need to go in there and check on her. We just got everything dewormed in Vax, though, bro. Like, if she's sick, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't really know what to do about that. But one thing we should do is open her up to the pasture because she does not have hay. I mean, there's a little bit, but not really. Well, let's give them some grain and see if she comes. If she don't come to grain, that's not usually good. And we might have to call the vet. It's like, dude, it's something about this time of year, bro. October, everything starts freaking dying. Everything gets sick and everything starts fighting. And I don't know why, because I've got everything vaxxed, taken care of. We made a video on the Uncut channel, the Uncut app platform that showed us vaxxing everything. If you guys really want to go see it, if you're not already subscribed, we put that on there because, you know, wrangling and dangling animals, YouTube, PETA would be all over our ass. But we were actually doing it to help them. Yeah, she, she not coming over. Do one, just do one scoop. Like either, either probably yours. There's already some in here. Oh, there's in some Nate, in? Nate probably gave her some this morning. Oh, this is, oh, she's coming. So I was just gonna try to see if I could hand Okay, her. come on, buddy. Ralph, don't you do anything. All right, you, you go, go on and give those, those that side a couple scoops. Sure. Carol. Come on, Carol. Do we, we might need to put some animals over here with her so she's not quite so lonely. Yeah. I mean, I can't, it's hard to tell. She looks, I would say she looks skinnier than usual. I don't really look at her all the yeah. time. Like, oh, how is she looking? She does have flies all over her, which we just, we literally just vaxxed her like four days ago and covered her head to toe in fly spray. You I mean, go in there and she's, she's, not, hand feeder? she's not doing that bad. We need, where's that, is that, oh, that sprays. What is that spray? Oh, it's right here. We can take the spray and try to hit her with that. Anyways, a bunch of chicken. I don't know why these chickens. We got a bunch of chickens over here and there's a whole bunch under there. They've been using the coop. Um, we've gotten some eggs back and stuff like that, but it seems like they're kind of they're kind of running around doing, kind of doing whatever they want to do. But yeah, let's go in there. You want to grab the sprayer? Yeah. Just cause of freaking, gosh dang it, Carol. What, what, why? Why? Animals, man. I'll tell you what, Ralph was chasing her around, and we just had llama pass, and Ralph was messing with llama, so we don't know. You know, the vets said they thought llama was sick, but she could have been a little sick, and then Ralph attacked her. That's what happened. That happened to llama one other time where Ralph attacked her, but that was before we got him cut. But then we had Quattro and Jerry. Both times we saw Ralph attacking them before they died. It's like Ralph has a sense that like an animal is sick, and he goes after him. And I don't know what the strat is with it. So we don't know if Carol's sick or not, but we might just put her over here with some of the other animals in the meantime. I mean, she's not looking, she don't look that bad. I mean, her nose is still wet, right? Don't they say that's an indication or no? Is that not an indication usually? Her, her legs are all wet where Ralph was nibbling. She's walking fine. It's like the sign of the worms is like their mucous membranes and stuff, isn't it? Like when their eyes get dry and red and they're- And they're like, you know, if their nose is wet, I think that's a good thing. What's wrong, buddy? I mean, she looks like a normal cow to me. She looks okay. I mean, I'd say Ralph might have just got her gas. She's just got the flies on her. So I would say we fixed all the fence. We should be good. I'll open this up. We'll see if we can get her up into pasture a little bit. Yeah. Carol, you on, got, Carol, you're gonna make it, buddy. I promise. I don't know what. Dude, I, freaking Ralph, man. It's like, but we, we, we can't sell Ralph. But if he kills everything, he'll be the last man standing. I don't know, I think we'll hit her, hit her one more time with some spray, kind of by her ears without getting her eyes if we can. There's just a lot of flies on her and then we'll, we'll let her do her thing. There's not a whole lot of hay over here. So we just open her up to pasture and then we'll see. But we were talking to Nate over, he came, he came and fed everything a little bit this morning and he said that Ralph was nibbling on her legs and so she, she wasn't really fighting back and he was kind of laying on her and he just, I don't know why he, he's, he does that stuff. But I, I, I really do think he played a role in Llama dying. I don't think he's 100% responsible, but it's something with, and I, I, it's farm animals in general. When one of them gets sick, they try to like thin the herd out for whatever reason, it's like a competitive thing. And they think that he had a one up on, on her. I don't really know, but anyways, she's okay. We'll keep an eye on her. Let us know if you guys have anything else that, you know, we're missing or whatever, but um, we're gonna run in the chicken coop. We'll guys give you an update on that. You guys have seen us, you know, trick that thing out and we'll see if we have any eggs. I think Nate probably picks them up. So we'll see if there's any more anything, if anything else needs to be done. And then we're gonna go over where the geese are, which is where the frogs are and get to sniping. So stay tuned. Open her up, man. 
Joe. Let's see it. How is the old chicken palace look? Oh, we got eggs. Let's go. Look at that. We got one. It doesn't stink in here at all. No. No, this is great. Here you go, man. We got one. We got two. Oh, that's a that's a steamy one. Three. At least three. Three is not terrible. We, you know, our 50 per day quota is a little shy. There's Duke in the box. Someone poop. Gross. Dude. That HVAC thing works. When we, I was going to say, when we built this, we had the shavings in it for, I think it was less than 48 hours before we, before we redid it. Because you guys were like, Flea, you need to put something down on the floor, otherwise it'll rot. Remember when we came in here day two? Yeah. It reeked. I mean, it smelled like, like you were, your head was up a chicken's ass. You wouldn't even know you're hardly in a chicken coop. You just think you're in a nice little barn somewhere. It smells like shavings. It smells yeah. like shavings still. This is oh, good. Yeah. This is like super Rico, good. Yeah. Was oh, the first time you've seen this place? No, no, I saw it the other day. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I, was, yeah, I was like, I thought you were here. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's nice. The old HVAC's getting it. Yeah. So we got three out of us for 40, 47 short, damn it. Come on. Start killing him. Start, yeah, just like the quail, get out, you start, stop laying, get out of here. Well, we saw a fly problem, so I can't get too mad at them. And I know in the winter, their egg production slows down. So this may be like a two year payoff deal, but hey, guess what? It's portable. So when I move, hey, we'll just take it with us. Ain't gonna be no big deal. We'll just take her on with us. So, all right, you, you wanna pull the mule up? Sure. I'm gonna start scouting. We gotta see if, uh, what if they're not here, Banjo? Let's do the army crawl. Should we, oh, get the ghillie, dang it. They're gonna see us coming. We should pull the mule up. Hey, geese, how you guys doing? What What do you think we should do with these guys this winter? Put a bubbler in, put a little ice eater in there? Yeah. And just see if they'll stay? Yeah. I mean, they'll be all right. We might have to build them up. Well, they got that little dog hut, I guess. We could open that up. Yeah, I don't know if all three. Oh, I already know. see big <laughs> Sheila, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, my like, gosh. Oh, yeah, dude. We already see big boy. Oh, I see two. I see two. Oh, shoot. He moved. He moved. Oh. They're already on to us, dude. This isn't good. This might be, we might need a ghillie suit or something. They, I think they know. Dude, they, remember the other day? We're like, look, one, two, three, four. And they were all just looking at us. Right, come here, goose. There you go. No, go, get away from the freaking pot. Accidentally hit George with the old freaking oh, 22, big rip. All right. I was gonna say, these geese are freaking cock blocking us right now. I'm trying to get a bullfrog, damn it. You could go right here behind George's head. They'll split the, split the heads. Yeah, split the gap. Hopefully, hey, get away from the pond, damn it. Look at these suckers. Yeah, we what if they, what if they have an alliance with the frogs and they're like the bodyguards now? Yeah, they're they're buddies. Greg, don't tap me. I'm good with the old headshot. You better shoot them now. Oh you god. Oh, this is this is gonna be. All right, we're gonna attempt. So do we see? T you see the one where the log hits? Yes, yeah, I saw that one. Okay, down. I see two. Those keggers didn't pop back up. So we, we might, this might have to be a multiple step process. I'm gonna have to snipe a couple. I would say leave them. Yeah, leave them. And then we might have to get up in the side by side and shoot them from up high potentially. So stay tuned. All right, boys, here we go. <laughs> Scope cam time. Where'd he go? I, I definitely hit him. I think you gotta go for that other one now. Should I pop the other guy real quick? Pop the other guy real quick and... The other guy didn't move. The, the silenced strat worked. Him. I was right on him. How did he not move? Yeah. Dude, this is this thing's silent stuff, bro. This like the wake and everything. He didn't care. Missed. Missed? Yeah, he's right up. Do we need to go get the gas? He's back. He's over here. Move this way. Right what? Why do I suck with this all of a sudden? He's dead. He's dead. I go. His buddy's still there. Okay, his friend's still there. He's down. You gotta aim a little low. Got him. Got him. Oh, we got two. We got two. Okay, you see that third one? Where? That rock, the big rock that's out straight in that crevice. See his eyes? Real talk. Should I shoot at the rock or no? And what if he has it comes back? It's just a pellet gun, right? I think it'd be alright. You give the old the old lean. Squint. Smoked him. God, I closed both eyes. <laughs> he did. I lined up and just went like this. <laughs> we got three banjo. I'm gonna reload. If we see one, you're smoking it. Is that, that that's not a live one, is it? No, you shot him. 
Yeah, I don't see that. With his head up? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just floating. I got three. I got the net. But if anyone makes a move, Banjo's gonna freaking barrel stuff him. You're positive oh. that... You're positive? You're telling me that one with the eyes up is, is alive. I don't want to shoot him in the face. He's definitely... You see this one? Yeah, yeah. You want me to shoot that one again? I would let that one rip. There's no way he's dead like that. Yep. You got him. He moved, at least, I should say. Mm -hmm. So either he was alive, or you got him. Yeah. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, God, right through the right through the old neck, baby. Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck. He's in between those two rocks. Got your ass. <laughs> you got two, babe. Sheesh. Is there one right there? You gotta have another one down here somewhere. He was full. There was one in the middle. Well, two it is. We got two. Might have to. We'll camp out here for maybe 15 minutes. See if anything pops up. He's got to come back up though at some point. All right. Well, we got two confirmed. We gotta wait for the next big one to pop up. Stay tuned. He came back. I, it, this is so close. I, I aimed little, too maybe low. maybe a little too low. Mm -hmm. I just figured we're this close. If I deal iron sights, I'd been better off. Oh, I knew he'd come back. We just sat here. I was like, oh, we'll just wait. All of a sudden, whoop, come right back. He can't stay down forever. He might stay down there longer now that he knows. We gotta get him, baby. That way we each have one. It'd be fire. Oh, yeah. There he is. See you later, buddy. <laughs> That's what happens. You gotta just play it nice and quiet. Oh god, he's a big one too, isn't he? Nice one. Same Let's size. go. Oh yeah. He's got legs. Let's go. He got, he got a little he's meat. He's got legs. He got a little meat. <laughs> got three, baby. Means we each get a bullfrog. Harvest. Not bad. Oh yeah. Shot him right up the old yeehaw, brother. That one. Uh, that one. Yeah. I, aimed, I still aimed a little low, but not too low. The old silenced, non CO2 powered pellet gun from Walmart is lethal to bullfrogs. Believe it or not. And I would, I will for sure say we shot enough bullfrogs with 22s in our lives. If we shot them with the 22 here, they all would have left. Oh yeah. That thing's quiet. It worked. It was quiet enough. That that is the silent killer. Anyways, we're gonna go take these guys up, get them skinned up. Banjo doesn't even know what we got to cook them with. Banjo, first ever. Can you believe I came up with a new? Actually, this was Jake. New recipe. Really? You know how many times we've done bullfrogs? I'm a lot. Cool. New brand new. It's nothing like we've ever done before. Brand new recipe, Banjo. We'll see. We'll see. Gotta stay tuned. Shoot! We made it back, folks. That, does that? That's a nice sight. Yeah. That that oh, gets me. Yeah. That gets Lucy. I'm, I'm sort. Of, what are you? I'm all sorts of happy right now. Really? Yeah. Watch out, you ladies. Easy now. Okay, so pretty decent harvest for the old backyard. That's all that meat pond's good for. But I'll take it, honestly. It's a mosquito cesspool, and it delivers delicious bullfrogs. So, we are going to be doing something new, banjo. We've got B dubs. Frog leg do collaboration. I a, do I get to order mine? Um, yeah, I mean, I was gonna. How many do we have? We need three and three, so okay. we, we can each yeah, try yeah, one. Yeah, how about yeah, that? Yeah. So we got the sweet with gentle heat honey barbecue. Yeah, that's one I would that is a order. classic. Yep. And then we're like, man, we should just try the traditional medium. Nothing. We t we talked about blowing your ass out, but we decided to take it easy. I appreciate you not blowing my We were, we were going to get mango habanero and just be like, oh, it's a little Asian zing. That's it. And then just oh. douse it. But we, we were nice. The Thank bottles you. aren't open. Thank They're you. not tampered, okay? So we're not that mean. But what we're going to do, fry these bad boys up. Similar to how we normally do it, but I'm not going to sit there. You guys always see me. I throw it in there and I beat that meat a little bit. I'm not going to do that because that creates a thicker breading, which is not really what our goal is today. Our goal today is just a nice thin crisp because then we're going to put the actual sauce on it. So we're going to go ahead and take these guys, throw them in a bowl. This is cornstarch and you want to lightly, just a light, this just, it pretty much just dries them off. It's really all this does. It doesn't really do you much good. It doesn't have much of a flavor, but it's going to make these frog legs dry. Dry as a bone, right? Which is what you want. Then you're going to take your hot sauce and I'm going to do, we'll do three at a time so we can do them in batches. Or No, no, we can do them all actually because they're all fried the same, right? Yeah. So we'll go all, all, all of them. So that's done. Actually, we can do this. So mix these guys up. We'll throw a little bit, throw a little bit of sauce in there. Yep, yep, yep. See if you can get all them covered up nicely. You can let them marinate if you want. And then we are going to make our own batter, which is some all-purpose flour. 
They can go right in the same, there it is. So right in the same bowl. And duck's all meat, which is gonna give it a neutral flavor. Just good flavor, but it's not gonna swing it to the barbecue, it's not gonna swing it to the spice. It's real neutral. So we're gonna go ahead and get that dirty flour going here. You gotta be dirty. You gotta be nice and dirty. Oh, she ain't dirty enough. A little dirtier. She's been bad. All right, go ahead and cover up. Throw these guys in, just like that. What's he, what's, he, what's he laughing about? This is how we make frog legs dreams are made of right here. Throw these guys in. Like I said, we're not gonna go too crazy with it. Just get everything just like that. Nice and lightly dusted. Okay, let's see if our oil is in fact hot. Yes, it is. Shake, see, it's just, it'll be a light crisp. Shake the excess. Oh. We might just have to drop her down. She's gonna start. Yep. Just go ahead and grab them, toss them in there until they get nice, golden crispy. We're taking them out and then we're gonna toss them in the actual B dub sauce. I don't know if this has ever been done before. Buffalo Wild Wings, probably. No. This is a, this is a first time type deal. So throw them all in there. Is that oil hot. Is that all? Of them? Yeah. Is that really six? Okay. Go ahead and shut this. Bam. And once they're done, pull them out, uh, dry them off a little bit, get them sauced up. We'll see what we like better, honey barbecue or medium hot sauce. Stay tuned. Shoo, but look at that. Oh yeah. That's it, baby. That is it. All right, we're gonna go ahead and gently release them onto a paper towel. Oh my God. Dude, the recipe is dialed, folks. I, a lot of you guys, if you guys never cook frog legs, you probably don't have a pressure. To get frog legs to look like Kentucky Fried Chicken like that takes years of perfecting, literal years. So we're gonna let these guys cool off for a second. I'm gonna get bowls ready. You wanna go ahead and start opening those bad boys? Yep. We're gonna get to sousing. All right, we got three golden crispies in there. Three golden crispies in here. All right, honey barbecue. Mm, that's good stuff. All right, here we go. And he likes the sauce. I like that saucy. God, yeah. yeah. I mean, it looks like yeah, B-dubs to yeah, me. Straight out of the B-dubs kitchen. Get you one oh, of them. Get you yeah. one of them. Woo! Might have just cracked the code here. This, this oh. might be the life hack of a century right here. This might do it. All right, so, sorry, not trying to grab your Peter. All right, here we go. We got some medium buffalo. Oh, yeah. They're covered nicely. Oh, babe. Why have we never thought of this? I have no Jake's just like, what if we just get beat up sauce? I'm like, wait, what? What? That looks fire. It's game changer right there. All right, we're, we're straight away sticking this meat in our mouth right now. You're going honey first? Yeah, get the, the heat might taint the, yeah. the flavor a little bit. Big taint guy. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Stick it in your mouth. No ranch. Best, even, best. Though ran even though ranch would go just oh. insane. Oh, right? oh, That'd go hard. Best piece right here. No calf. Does that just... Wow. Does that do something? Dude, the best. No. That beats anything. We've no. Ever had. Really? Dude, four years of bull frogs. And we just cracked. No, mm. there's zero percent chance. Thousand percent. All right, here we go, boys. Oh my. Tastes like chicken wing? Tastes better. Better than a chicken wing. Better. Oh my god. We gotta figure out where we can get more bullfrogs. <laughs> we always say that every time. No, this is a this is a meal. I could eat. Amazing. I could eat a pile. I could eat a hundred of these. <laughs> mm. Oh my dude, God. that is insane. That is the best way I've ever had bullfrogs. Oh, a thousand percent. Oh, it's today eight years old, right here. Wow. Mm, wow. All right, you gotta get in there, Jake. Yeah, you guys are veterans. You took the one that had the nice calf paste. <laughs> oh, <dude. laughs> left you with a, a small calf. You skipped leg day or what? What's going on there? The yeah, part, that's that's, a part, that's different. It's a party in the old mouth right there. <laughs> There's a lot going on. There's a lot. Like a lot. That's insane. I mean, that's better than any chicken wing I've ever had. Yeah. That's better yeah. than any frog leg I've ever had. It melts in your mouth. Yeah. Frog legs are so much more tender and juicy than chicken. It's basically like an extremely juicy chicken leg. That's Best it. thing we've ever made. Yeah, I mean, that's that's top. Like, I don't, exactly. you could feed that to anybody yeah. and they're gonna think this is the great. That's, I mean, that's, we're that's not just saying it. Beat. That's extremely tough Macy to beat. I could beat that. Be yeah, tough. We got we're down on the frog legs, but now that we've got hot, well, me, medium, which is should be a little spicy. Yeah, yeah. This would be yeah. like a traditional wing flavor, which I think honey barbecue is pretty tough to beat, but this should be pretty good too. Mm. Oh yeah, mm, that's good. A little hot wing, that's it. Mm. <coughs> that's kind of hot for medium. That's pretty hot. Cheese and rice. <laughs> Light you up. 
Oh, and there's a lot of sauce. <laughs> He's going to start hiccuping. I'm calling it right now. I'm going to start crying. Dude, it's hot, bro. Mm. There's a lot of sauce on that. That needs ranch. That needs ranch. <laughs> Face is melting. <laughs> Just eyes are doing things. Wow. Mm. It was good, but like a little less sauce on that one. Oop. It was hard. I if I could have like thinned the sauce out, it seemed yeah, like it just got, it, it got it got a little thick on us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he slugged. He, he down just the he just chugged that. All right, we'll see what the hot wing guy has to say. Yeah, Jake's gonna be like, this is nothing. I like hot. It's not like my mouth's all right. It's but it was a lot of sauce. Guys, I think we could have thinned it out. You guys go Buffalo Wild Wings. You get honey barbecue. God yeah. Yeah, I get the old Buffalo. What's the other one that you get that's kind of good? Asian zing, Caribbean yeah. jerk, those, yeah, garlic those parm is good. Garlic oh, that's good. the deal. You know you're about uh -huh. that. It's nice and hot for me. What's hot like? That'll blow yeah. your ass out. That this is like borderline. I'm I'm afraid to fart. <laughs> <laughs> can't trust a fart. You can't, no, you can't trust no fart now. I'm dead for I'm done for the rest of the day. <laughs> done for the day. Yeah, done for the day. Can't trust nothing now. That's better than No that. way, what? bro. No, honey barbecue. All right, comment down below. Good. Are you a honey barbecue or buffalo? I will say, for buffalo, very good. But I would have, I need a blue cheese or some ranch. Freaking oh, dunked out. Cheese. <laughs> yeah, I, I would have had it done I need all a that. carrot. I need the Yeah, I need the celery stick. and the carrot. Yeah. Yeah. I need a lot. I, need, I know, I'm like, whew. Starting to sweat a little bit, but I will say, I know, we always say, this is the best frog leg recipe we've ever had. That. Because all, really all it was was our original recipe, but we added sauce. So if you're a naked, no sauce kind of guy, then don't add the sauce. It, exactly how we had the recipe was just fine. Maybe sprinkle a little buffalo seasoning in it instead of just the all meat. But if you want to try something crazy, that will blow your mind. No matter if you've ever had bullfrog legs or not, that will change your life. Exactly what we did, cornstarch, hot sauce, into a flour mix, into the fryer, into the sauce, and it's the best chicken wing you've ever had in your b doesn't even come close to that not even like i would pay way more money for a plate of those than actual chicken wings so anyways there you have it folks the old backyard you guys asked for it we said should we wait till thanksgiving and guys like no flair get them right now so we got the old silent suppressed pellet gun from walmart made some magic happen banjo is cracking his second beverage he's thirsty he's yeah he's chugging now there's some freaking milk in there if you need it uh we did it we got the walmart pellet gun silenced the bullfrogs didn't even see it coming knocked him out killed him clean fried him up and had the best frog leg meal i've had in my entire life life. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you on the next one. And peace.